Okay friends welcome back and finally in this tutorial we will be completing off with island input elements. So before just starting with the code, I would like to thank you all for the awesome support for the channel and for the videos. So please keep sharing and keep subscribing to the channel and keep commenting also. So let's dive into the code straight in. So out here we had this in allowed pattern thing which would allow only certain kind of characters that we have inputted out here uh, already defined out here to be input in this field and just anything we, that we type would not be allowed to be input so this thing would be kind of very handy if we had some uh, validation for our text field or something like that so moving on I'll just show you how to put in something like a for a range of values like if we had uh, had to allow all the character literals we'll had, have to type in this case a b c d and e f g h and all so for saving for us from that hassle we'll just you know what we have to do is that we have to type in the character the starting character put in a hyphen and then type in the character we have we want to actually end it with so as soon as we type a to z we'll see that when we refresh okay this thing is just taking some time Actually, my net becomes slow at times, I think. Come on. Maybe I, I should just. Okay. So here, this thing is open. So now, if we type something like that, this thing is working. And if we try to type something like a b c d we see that this thing is also working so what if we try to type something in caps lock so let's do that i'll just type something with caps lock okay so the caps lock part is still not working and any kind of spaces and all are also not allowed so as you can just guess to just allow something like caps uh, means uppercase letters we again have to type something like a to z and then we'll refresh again looks like this guy out here has just gone for a sleep okay. so let's take uppercase char characters okay so now everything is working fine okay so then uh, this is how we can achieve something like a pat allowed pattern functionality with the help uh, very easily with the help of iron input elements and these are actually the methods how the iron input elements uh, of the polymer can come in very handy with all these data binding functionality of this like these two-way data binding functionalities and these allowed pattern properties and functions so meet you in the next tutorial guys and maybe just put in your suggestions and comments in the discussion forum below and thank you bye